All right, I'm going to continue working through the uh, solving equations foldable. We had completed one-step equations and two-step equations. If you need to, go back. There's a separate video with those. On the multi-step equations, we're going to start by looking at how to solve, solve multi-step equations by first. What they're getting at here is that we want to combine like terms before we simplify. Like terms came up on the two-step solving. So like terms in this case are the 12x and the 10x. We can combine those, put them together. 12x's and 10x's is 22x's. The 14 doesn't have an x, it can't go together with that. And then we're looking at a two-step equation to solve. Start out by taking 14 away from both sides. We're going to wind up with 22x equals 66. I'm going to divide both sides by 22. Well, it looked like I crossed it off, didn't mean to. X is going to be 3 in this case. When we look at number 2, the like terms that I have are 6C and 2C, but it's a negative 2C that I have to put together with it because it's being subtracted. So 6C minus 2C is 4C. I have minus 8. That's equal to negative 6. I'm going to add 8 to both sides, keeping that equation in balance. 4c is equal to negative 6 plus 8 is 2. When I divide by 4, I wind up with the fractional part 1 half. I encourage you to try to do your math in, mentally um, as you work through this course, where it's oftentimes so much quicker just to stop and think than pick up a calculator. Like terms, negative 3x and x is going to leave me with negative 2x's. I also have a 25 and a 21 I can put together. 46. Subtract 46 away from both sides. Negative 2x equals negative 44. 2 minus 46 gives me negative 44. Divide both sides by negative 2. x is going to be equal to 22. 5x minus 11 minus 4x plus 24 equals 5. Like terms, 5x minus 4x is x. Negative 11 plus 24 is basically 24 minus 11. So I've got plus 13 equals 5. We're going to add 13 to both sides and find out that x is equal to 18. Now, I realize I am doing these problems really quickly, and part of the reason I like to use video is because you can then go and watch this on your phone, slow it down, pause it, or on your PC or your tablet, but um, that's the intent. Take, use the pause button. Solve multi-step equations involving, what I look at and see here is it's the distributive property. I've been practicing this since the middle school throughout geometry even. So what I'm going to do is just rewrite 5m plus 2 times m plus 2 times 1 and have that equal to 23. I'm going to combine like terms, my 5 and my 2m, 7m plus 2 equals 23. So I'm distributing, combining like terms to simplify and then I start undoing 7m equals 21. If I divide both sides by 7, coming over here, m equals 3. Number 2, if I want to distribute my 2, I'm going to wind up with 14 plus 8g minus 6 equals 40. Hey, Ed, would you bring me a calculator and turn this light on in here? I got shadows in my video. Sorry. Uh, my like terms are going to be 14 minus 6. So 8g plus 8. 14 minus 6 is going to leave me with 8. And then I'll start. Ooh, that's better already. Cool. Thank you all. Say hi to Advanced Algebra. Hi, Advanced Algebra. <laughs> you first waved. That wasn't going to work. All right. So g is 4. Cool. Sorry, I didn't talk you through that one. Uh, number 3 going to distribute, I'm running out of, I'm going to change colors here, so it doesn't run together so much. going to distribute negative 3. Pay attention how I said that. It's minus 3 times this quantity, but that's like distributing a negative 3. Negative 3 times 6, minus 18. Negative times a negative is going to be a positive. 6C, 
27 is equal to 3c and 6c have to come together minus 18. Start undoing from here. Add 18, add 18. Oh, that's two nines. 27, 36, 45. Divide by 9. C is equal to 5. Boy, I sure hope I haven't made any errors. I haven't stopped to check. Wouldn't be the first time, of course. So number four, this is interesting. Um, I'd like to handle this problem by multiplying both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of three halves, like we looked at in the one steps. I want to get this out of here. So if I multiply everything by two thirds, this will cancel out. And negative six times two thirds is going to leave me with x minus five equals negative six times two is negative 12 over three as I simplify. So x minus five equals negative four. I'd add five, add five. X is one. Great, now moving on to equations with variables on both sides. We're gonna have to think about how we wanna undo. Now every one of these problems has multiple ways you can go at solving them. I choose the ways I do to try to avoid using negative coefficients on the variables. I'm gonna take away six M's. Want all the M's together on the left. 2m plus 5 equals, I have one left, minus 5. 